So hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I um, hope you're all doing really well. So today is, let me get the date right here. Hello. Ooh, there he is, here's Atticus. Let me get the date right. 28th, it's the is 28th. It the it's 28th. Already? Yeah, 28th of August already. Not long till the sad. return to school. I know. It's been lovely though, hasn't it? Yeah. Lots of places, you've had lots of fun. Yeah. But we were up bright and early this morning. Um, yeah. It is now half a state. The reason we are up early very, very different and ready to is a couple of weeks ago, Elon, Elon phoned me, he said, Julie, he said, would you like a Tesla? I said, oh, go on then, Elon. <laughs> me and Elon, we go way back. Not really, not really. <laughs> but um, a few weeks back, Tesla did reach out to me. Um, I had um, had communications with them before, um, probably, I think ago. it was last year. When um, we were in Disney. But there were different like, logistics and stuff. It was Why when we it, were in Disney. Yeah, when we were in Disney, when it couldn't happen. But anyway, obviously, um, Elon himself didn't really reach out to me. It but was like one of the Tesla, um, someone from the Tesla team did reach out to me and um, said, Julie, would you like to um, have a Tesla for a week? And I'm like, yep. Yeah. I would love to have a Tesla for a week. Um, ideally, I'd love to have a Tesla for longer, but a week is fab. Um, many reasons why I've said yes to this. Um, electric cars are the way forward, obviously. They're great for the environment, um, and it's the way forward. And air quality. Air quality, oh God, air quality, totally. Also as well, um, I thought to myself, every, I mean, obviously I've seen so many Teslas about for a long time, but, um, I have hardly seen any women driving a Tesla. So I thought it's a really good opportunity for me to give it a good test drive. Um, we're going to use it throughout the week. Obviously, I'm going to see how I get on with driving it because I've been watching videos to prep me ready and it is a whole new driving experience. Um, so I'm going to see how I get on, obviously, and first of all, drive it around locally. So I'll see how I get on. Um, but I thought I would take you along with me as I get used to the Tesla, as I drive the Tesla, I will give you my honest review. Obviously, I'm used to driving uh, um, manual mini um so it's going to be a completely different driving experience but one none that i'm yes i'm slightly nervous um because the tesla is my responsibility for a whole week that's because he's super excited because he's obviously like sat in the i was with... freaking out this morning because i couldn't believe it yeah when we've been to like various um shopping centers and Mil that so now we have one for real um for a week um so a big thanks to tesla um, yeah, who thanks to Tesla? Who thanks to Tesla for um, giving me the opportunity to drive one for a week? Um, for and, me to sit in the passenger, and for you to sit in the passenger also. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we are waiting for it to arrive. Day early morning delivery, but it's still very early, and it's also a bank holiday Monday, so we are waiting for it to arrive. Um, yeah, and we are super super excited. So I thought I would take you along on the journey of me driving a Tesla. For a week. For a week. So here it is, it's arrived. I love this colour, first of all. Um, I knew it was going to be a red one, but I thought it would be a brighter red, which I'm not altogether mad on, but this is like a very much darker muted red. Um, so it's lovely. In my Tesla now. Well, well, <laughs> it's my Tesla for a week. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as I said, the only issue, bless you, the only issue I'm having is the seat. The seat needs to go forward more, and obviously I've Googled it. There's lots of like um, switches and knobs down the side, but all that seems to do is um, move the seat up and down, not forward or backwards. So I've downloaded the app, um, but obviously I need lots of more info before the app will add this car, if that makes sense. So hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow. But I'm hoping there's a manual way to adjust the seat. Anyway, enough seat talk, enough seat talk. I have a neighbour just on this side that actually has a Tesla, so I'm going to knock on his door and I'm going to ask him if there's a manual way of making the seat go all the way forward because I'm so short. There it's must be, there, seat, there must be a manual way. Is it, like, is it comfy in the back? I am going to sit in the front. Yeah, you're gonna sit in the but front. But if we go to York in this, I might have go down here. Yeah. I might go in here. Yeah. But nice, nice, loads of room. I'll show you the screen of a Tesla. You may or may not be familiar with it. We think it's literally on the screen. So literally in the front, you have your steering wheel, you have your lever here, which is um, 
drive reverse neutral and the button here is literally the handbrake so you'll just press that to put the handbrake on um and then literally all there is you've got your cup holders here you the have got roundabout. look you've got a great big storage bit here yeah and do you know how you look it's look how you does it shut it? it yeah you press it in it yeah look and then you've got that. another one nice here nice and smooth and then you lift that up and then I like got to... another one there. Got all your different bits for this. So you've got your pedals and steering, charging, autopilot, locks, lights, display, trips, navigation, safety. Um, yeah, so it's all on there. Pretty self-explanatory. Before we uh, go, we've just um, God, we'll switched the media that. on. We've got YouTube also have disney plus so my neighbor just helped me out with the seat um it was, it was I, I was touching the bar but there was is three different ways that the bar can be maneuvered so i wasn't maneuvering the bar in the correct way but now my seat is lovely and comfortable so i am going to drive the tesla to Redstone lakes which is about a 10 minute on a dual carriageway it's about five or six miles would you say atticus yeah and it's about um, about 10 minutes on a dual carriageway let's go to Redstone lakes then, and nanny, get your school shoes then nanny time for school me. shoes and trainers and then we're going to pop in my mum's so update we went to Redstone lakes um there's literally no parking spaces it's crowded so i think i'm going to drive to milton Keynes tomorrow and get atticus's shoes um and uh, PE trainers tomorrow but how did mummy do Atticus on the A45? Um, very good. Very good. I'll tell you what, Atticus said, when he's sitting there, he says, it feels like we've had this forever. And actually, when I'm driving it, it is so easy to drive. Um, I know I they probably look a bit complicated. I don't They're so not. I don't... The only thing you really do need to get used to is the regenerative braking. Um, Atticus is just looking at the bonnet. Because <laughs> obviously you don't, to slow down, you know, you just gently using um, the accelerator to slow down, speed up. Um, I used the brake once and it was so, you really, it was so, so strong. Um, so that's, to get that, yeah, I'm going to ask her. So the regenerative braking, you do need to get used to that, especially after you've been driving a manual mini. Um, but that being said, it's, um, yeah, absolutely lovely to drive. So look, it's another compartment in the bonnet. Wow, so obviously the battery is all the way under there. How cool. Yeah. Not having much luck today. Couldn't get a parking space at Ocean Lakes and now mum's not here. But, but we're gonna, we gonna wait. I have tried ringing her. Um, She's on our answering machine. And I did ask her friend Pam, she thinks they've gone out for a walk. So we're gonna wait a little while anyway. The Tesla's nice and comfy, really comfy. Um, as I'm sitting here, I'm going to go to the back. Atticus is on the phone. He says he's going to sit in the back. And I am going to... Um, I've been having a look on the... Um, what do you call it? An iPad. But, you know, the control screen. I've been looking on the control screen. And um, there's some really interesting modes. Uh, there's different, first of all. I mean, there's so much on here to take in. But um, this one, I guess you can have different lights going on in the car. So we can have a romance lighting. Let's... Oh, no, we can have a... Oh no, yeah, go it's the flame that never goes out. Experience romance mode and stay parked all night long. Wow. So you can have a lit fire on here. Do it now. Lovely. Oh, I it. won't do it just yet. I'm just showing them the different. Oh, You've got boom degrees. box. You've got light show. So you can have the different lights in the car, like a disco, I guess. Energising. Oh. Play a gassy prank on anyone in your car for many seat. No. No. What? No. What? What? It's got a whoopee cushion. Yeah, do it. Fart on demand. No way. Uh, it's got do it. part Mom, of... do it. It's got a whoopee cushion. Mom, do it. To Love me. it. Okay, we'll have a go at that. So cool. I really want one. <laughs> yeah, I got all this up. And here, this is really good. I did see this actually on um, something the other day. There's a dog mode. So if you leave your um, dog in the car. So if I press oh, that. Mom, have you seen these? obviously dog mode activated so then you've got lots of um air coming out for the Can dog you've also got on? um camping mode while well, we wait for mum just having a browse through youtube it's taking Ooh, quite a while it's me it's my channel could actually fall asleep in here could you atticus I'm going to sleep. should we put it in camping mode no i'm going to sleep <laughs> no, I'm <in> <laughs> she put the fire on <laughs> so we're back it is about four o'clock now um yeah so like you saw couldn't get a parking space down Rochester lakes and mum wasn't there so we've come home um so the plan is to go to milton Keynes tomorrow to get atticus's school things um verdict on my first drive in the tesla well it's an absolute pleasure to drive 
um it's amazing i mean i've only drove it just like today and i've got the rest of the week and already i'm feeling like <clears throat> i thought i was like just a mini driver that was it and i i thought that when i went over to electric which i plan to do fully in two years anyway i thought i'd get an electric mini but after driving the tesla even just for today it's like it's so comfortable it's so easy it's so everything i mean it's so comfortable it'd be like amazing on a long journey you know it'd be absolutely fantastic as long as you find like your charging points which the car will let you know where they are on your route and you're absolutely good to go it's it's amazing it's amazing i'm really enjoying it i'm going to really enjoy this week giving it a good test out i've got the model y it's the model y but i know there's lots of other models aren't there um and i'll be quite interested to know actually because i don't know what the differences are in the models what what things like one model does that one other model doesn't so many other features as well that obviously i'll show you throughout the week that i haven't showed you yet i mean you've got autopilot for one um one of the things i do love amongst many is um when i put it into uh, as soon as i put it into reverse um, obviously you can see the road behind you on the cameras i will be back tomorrow when we drive to milton keynes so good morning everybody good morning it is day two of living with a tesla driving a tesla really? um it's about oh i think it's getting on for 11 o'clock and today we are going to head to milton keynes as i mentioned yesterday to get um atticus's shoes pe trainers a little coat because autumn is coming um, and we're going to take the tesla um so atticus is just sitting in it what are you saying atticus it's my dream car it's his dream car and he wants to get one when he's older car has got 232 miles left on it so do not need to supercharge it yet do charge it i'm going to go to one of the superchargers there's tesla superchargers there's one in northampton is the closest one at uh, riverside actually the so Tesla yeah um because they just charge it super quick i could use one at tesco's down the road one of the charging pods which will charge it if need be but obviously they take a lot longer um so yeah but it doesn't need charging yet So we have finished shopping, we got um, school shoes, we got oh, PE we trainers, got yeah I know Attica's got another pair of shoes, we've got some of Atticus's autumn wardrobe, so many bags we and look how big, we, this boot. we need to go Primark, Superdrug and Burger King but we have to come back and drop the bags off because they were just too heavy, um, but look how big this boot sure is, look how big this boot is <laughs> and obviously you've got like a shelf up here. So we are home now it's about something to six i think our tesla update absolutely i just love i just love that car we just want it if um, you can be in love with a car i'm in love with that car obviously it looks it looks amazing but it's not just how it looks it it drives like an absolute dream just like it's so effortless so effortless it's good for the environment amazing for the environment so comfortable so just incredible just really luxurious it's amazing it's lovely and obviously because i am used to um driving uh manual mini the two driving experiences are completely different um so so far really i mean it's only tuesday i've got the car till monday monday we've got six more days yeah it's only tuesday early days when he got it yesterday but i have to say well, it feels like we've had it for years yeah you know for me as a woman um driving it um i mean that was the longest i drove it today i think it was about 30 miles to milton Keynes. but obviously i will be showing um later on in this video um i'll be showing um because i am going to supercharge it i'm going to take it to a tesla supercharger and we're gonna because go there to is your... one yes um i'll just mention that before i end today's segment and um, i've decided we'd plan to go to york <clears throat> anyway um and i normally we normally take the train last time we went to york um Always. 
but I thought this time I've got the Tesla. Um, I'm gonna t I'm gonna drive the Tesla to York. Um, so that will be a really good indicator. It's, long, it's one of the longest rides you'd have ever done. Yeah, of how the Tesla works for me on a long journey. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello. Atticus is over there. Welcome back to um, living with a Tesla. Um, it Hello, is, I am here. He is here. It is thursday today so you would see that um wednesday isn't on here because yesterday we didn't drive the tesla um we had a day in a very rare day in um we had to take your i actually last night drove my mini because we didn't want the battery to go i down. didn't want the battery to go flat and obviously a bit of petrol. yeah because obviously it, it would have been sitting there for a whole week so i did actually take the mini out last night and give that a little drive and put some petrol in it so today we are going to take the tesla to the supercharger station at riverside which is about 20 minutes or so drive down um the road and there's a reason i want to supercharge it today because we're actually going tomorrow to, to, drive to york. york um which is a pretty long drive it's 165 miles it's 165 miles there and 165 miles back but i'm gonna give the tesla a good old test drive on a long drive so we're going for um two nights so, yeah so obviously i will um take you along on the journey to york tomorrow and the journey back on Sunday because obviously I will be parking it in York and we won't be using it once we get there or all day Saturday. Mom. That's tomorrow. So obviously we're going to go and supercharge it today. Yeah. Um, get it fully charged for the journey to York. This is the Tesla supercharger. So simple basically. So you've got the, it's the same light. It looks like a petrol pump doesn't it but obviously this is electric um so you've got this which literally you just plug into the car um yeah, when one minute it goes up 10 miles really yeah oh well, really has it it's got i remember looking at 168 miles about five seconds ago now it's 177 is it really yeah supercharger so so quick i mean obviously i could use the normal charging pods What's 179 now is it really yeah that will be up to fully charge in no time um they're just great aren't they um so yeah so this little light here i did like do all my research before i had the car delivered anyway um but obviously when you plug it in it's blue then you know it's charging when it's flashing green and then when it turns a solid green I think that is when it is fully charged. But if I show you in the car, let's go around here, Atticus. Look. So here's the screen saying it's charging and it's now up to 181 miles. We've literally been here, what would you say, three minutes, Atticus? Two minutes. Two minutes. And when we pulled up, it was. 100, 153 miles. Yeah, so it's gone up. This is going to be fully charged before we know it. good morning good morning it's friday it's friday and today we are taking our longest trip in the tesla probably one of the longest trips ever yeah we are going to york it is about 25 to 9 so hopefully with stopping on the way because it is a pretty long trek it's almost three hours three um hours we should trip. get there for about one um yeah. can't check in i booked her I booked a little apartment for us for two nights, but we can't check in till four. So obviously my plan is I'm going to put into um, the car sat nav, I'm going to put the Shambles Q car park. That's where I'm going to park the car because apparently that's literally two minutes away from our flat. And obviously we'll park the car up there until Sunday and then go back to the car and get the bags when it's ready for checking. Um, so we fully charged the car yesterday. <laughs> bless you we fully charged it yesterday which you would have seen um but obviously then we had to drive back to wellingborough from northampton and then do a couple of errands when i got back so it's now at 246 which is fine okay so it's 116 miles i've just put it in it is calculated yeah. it's going to take us three hours seven minutes it's 148 miles
Hello. So we are literally, we are halfway. We've got one hour, 32 minutes left. Um, so now we have decided to stop. She has 151 miles left on it and we have 79 miles to go. So it is all good. So um, yeah, lovely so far on the motorway. Oh, first time I drove the Tesla on a motorway. So obviously been on the M1 all the way up and um, lovely. We've got 50 miles left on yeah. it. Yeah, motorway driving in a Tesla, spot on. Atticus, that was the longest car journey I think I've ever done but if you're going to do a super long car journey Tesla is the car to do it in for sure I've discovered that such a lovely journey wasn't it comfortable smooth absolutely yeah lovely so we parked the car up um yeah in the shambles car park So, we will be going back to the car to get the cases and then obviously the Tesla is parked very securely in the Shambles car park until we leave on Sunday. Um, I guess the parking is probably going to be something like 50 to 60 pounds, I think I've calculated it. Um, so obviously I will continue this video as we make our way home. I'm going to charge the Tesla up. Um, before we start heading home because there is a supercharger um, near here, relatively near here. I think there was about 80 miles left on it when we parked it up. Um, so obviously we have enough to get to the supercharger and then I shall charge it fully up to get us home. I am going to film, it will be a separate um, York vlog starting from There's tomorrow only one morning. Vlog. Um, there's only going to be one vlog um, and I will film our day out in York tomorrow. Um, that will start tomorrow morning. But for this video, um, my living with the Tesla for a week, we will see you again on, on Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday and I think the last time I spoke to you, we it was, it would have been Friday. Um, so it's Sunday, it's super early, it's um, 8 in the morning, we've checked out, we've just took the cases and everything and put them in the Tesla. Um, and the Tesla is currently on, it's on 75 miles, so while it was parked up, so it's parked up for not, not two full days, it was under two days, but it's lost one mile. Um, and I did Google that it can, when it's parked up, it can um, lose a percentage of battery so oh, I went on the app and made sure like everything was like turned off so it didn't use any unnecessary battery so it's on 75 which is fine um, to get us to Harrogate Harrogate is 22 miles away where the supercharger is um, yeah I could just use a normal one but which is probably five minutes away but that's going to take a lot longer and I'm also going to have to use all the different adapters as well, whereas with the Tesla one I can just plug it in. So that's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, I've been keeping an eye on it, on the app, but it's been in a very secure car park. It's been in the Shambles um, Q car park, which is ultra secure. You have to have your 
um, car park ticket to access the car park. And your eyes peeled for um, the York, actual York vlog I did um, vlog yesterday. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, but it's super early, it's like eight o'clock. I got up at like, I got up at like five because I knew we had a super long journey home. Yes, but Nanny wants to see. And then I'm gonna stop up at my mum's because she wants to see the car. And long yeah, so they want to see the car, so it's a super long journey home. Um, what I'm gonna try and do, which you will hear me talk about in my York vlog, I'm gonna get a coffee and then we are gonna go up to um, the shambles to see what the queue for the ghost shop is like. I've talked about this a lot in various vlogs and that is just a little shop that tells um, little ghosts but it's hugely popular people come from all over the world they collect them and the queue is always so long but I figured this early that I'm debating I think after I've had got my after I've got my coffee I think yeah Cafe Nero up there look no up there Atticus across there um, after I've had my coffee I think the queue will be very short there'll probably be three or four dedicated people queuing so I think but the debate is do I want to sit and wait for two hours or do I want to start driving to um, Harrogate to charge the car so I'll let you know what I do on 82 miles already as because we won't be here long it's on 82 miles probably be here for five ten more minutes mm. you can see all the stuff down there it's what bit, we bought for it's york black down here. it's lovely you've got a lot of leg room Atticus. yeah, yeah. So show you this bit quickly as well because i have been meaning to show you this so underneath like the screen you've got two um like compartments here and at the beginning of the week when i first get in the car i just literally put my phone there in one of them and not think about it or well, I'd put it in that one yeah. and it's actually and if it's working on that one but it's actually a phone charger so you literally just lay your phone in there and it will charge your phone yeah. while it's charging it's on almost 200 miles we're watching Anna So we are home. It is now 8.23 p.m. We um, obviously called in at my mum's on the way home from York to show her the car um, and my brother, they absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, back from York, there is 88 miles left on the battery. Um, so yep. Yeah, long journey done absolutely yeah absolutely love it so my final verdict on the tesla model y 2023 um i absolutely love it now this is coming from somebody who is i thought i was an absolute firm mini fan and i thought the only car i'll ever want to drive want to have would be a mini and i've already planned i had already planned that in two years time um i would switch over to electric and it would be a mini electric um but after having this for a week my verdict is <laughs> it is a completely different way of driving um it's a whole new driving experience 
um, obviously being electric first of all obviously you're charging it up you're it's not better going, for the environment it's obviously better for the environment um, which is huge and also you're obviously not putting petrol in you're charging it up so that's been a big um, that's been a big aspect of it you would have seen I mean this has been a really long video it's the first video of a week-long video I've ever done um, but I've actually really enjoyed it and you would have seen at the beginning of the week when we went over to Riverside and charged it up and then obviously you would have seen today when we I drove to Harrogate from York um, to the supercharger to fully charge it for on the way home. Um, so charging is obviously a big part um, and you do need to incorporate that into your schedule especially if you're going on a long journey. So York was um, a three hour journey there, three hour journey back. Um, a long road trip so obviously I had to schedule the charging before that um, so you need to take all of that into account when you do switch over to electric but I guess having a Tesla it is preferable to use the supercharger um, so the nearest supercharger to York was Harrogate which was about I think it was about 22 23 miles um, but obviously if you've just got a standard electric you can use the standard electric um, charging points which you can with a Tesla but I believe it takes a lot longer um, so obviously you've got the battery charging aspect but the whole actual driving experience um, the acceleration obviously it goes to from 0 to 60 in three seconds which is mad um, it's automatic obviously my mini is manual so i was very used to that so i'm really proud of myself actually that i've drove it how i have and actually done a long trip in it also um and it's like just as i've fully got used to it tomorrow it has to go back they are collecting the tesla in the morning i would have had it a full week um but it has been it's been an honor it's been a complete honor um and I've enjoyed every single second and I am that's Atticus just playing the whoopee cushion aspect that the Tesla has you can turn each seat into a whoopee cushion which I think I did show at the beginning of the vlog so I actually feel quite emotional about the car going I feel quite emotional um that's probably because I'm absolutely shattered um but i do feel i do feel emotional actually i'm going to be very very sad to know that it's going tomorrow and that i won't be driving it again so i feel very very sad uh, the model y um the color has been great as well because obviously you see a lot of the white ones about don't you which is the standard color which they come as as standard do they um, come as white seats or black seats i standard? don't know but the actual white color on the outside is like the that how they come as standard and then i think you pay extra um and i think the red is actually the um, the top color you can have that you pay the most for so my final verdict is I have absolutely loved it. A whole new driving experience, which you get used to very, very quickly. And it has changed my mind on the type of car I would like to go for when I do actually switch over to fully electric. Um, so that is my verdict. Atticus, do you want I've, to come a bit more forward yeah, and give yours? Yeah, I've got a question for you quickly. Go on then. Out of zero to 10, what would you rate it out of? Oh God, it's a 10. It's a ten. I can't. I can't. Fall. Personally, I can't to fall me, it. it's a. I think you need to sit back, come back a bit. I should not going at your face. It's an eleven. It, be, it is an. It's an eleven. If it can be and an I eleven, I agree. And I'm normally strict to the mummy on my scores, but come on, it is an eleven. What's been What's been your favourite thing about it, Ascus? All of it. All, it yeah. is such mm. a nice car. The comfort I as well. The comfort. I, when I was older, I thought I was either gonna. I thought I was gonna have a Range Rover. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah but 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 this car this is my dream car yeah my dream car too yeah and i want to get have to drive it you have to drive one to fully understand because yeah. i i want a red one it's a very practical car storage wise it's good oh the storage because you've got two boots you've got the bonnet what you can put stuff in but you've got yeah, the huge boots and then you've got the massive it's it, like so much room then compartments so you've got this one yeah 
but it's absolutely massive. Then this one was slightly smaller, but incredibly massive also. Um, I think ultimately it's luxury. It's, it is an ultimate car. It's, it's the best car it, I have it, ever been in. It is luxury. And More than a Lamborghini. Who doesn't love luxury? It's time to say goodbye to the Tesla Atticus. It's time to say goodbye. I will try and insert a clip after we finish speaking of them picking it up. Of it going on the trailer. I think I'm and like leaving me. It also. I think, do you know what? I know it's a car and it's only a car. But it's such a nice I think I might cry <laughs> later. So yeah. I think I'm gonna have a big old downpour. You've loved it. You've loved it. So a great big thanks. I think I've even to loved Tesla. it more than you. Yeah, you probably have. It's a it's yeah. a little boy's dream. But I want to finish this video with giving Who the, the biggest thank, thank you ever to Tesla, Tesla for loaning me this yeah. car for a also week. Also Elon Musk. Elon, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your um, companies are incredible, Elon. They are. Space Company, Tesla, Twitter. We love Elon. We love anything him. else that you Ask own. Us Elon. Um, anything else you own. Incredible. 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 You deserve the money you've got and you deserve the role you've got. To be you fair, are an it, incredible man. He really is, Atticus, and I hope he watches it. You, you never know. <laughs> for inventing these companies so you thank you elon and tessa yeah and seriously on i also i want i want to say a great big thank you to tesla you have enabled me to make very special memories with my son um he will always remember this yeah um, i might even get one when i'm older yeah we have thoroughly enjoyed every single second and we have it on a video to always remember. Uh, enjoyed my video living with a Tesla, Tesla for, for a, week. a week. So we are going to say bye. And we will see you very, very soon for another video. A brand new video. Brand new video. Bye. bye.